So this is the part of the back that we're looking at, the lower back. Uh, first of all, I went in and I sort of leant back as far as I possibly could, and <laughs> this is me. Uh, there we go. And when Delia did the same thing, you get uh, a far more dramatic picture. But it also allows you to answer this question about how she can do it. Physically, in terms of the bone structure and shape and so on, Delia is identical to me, identical to you. But the soft tissue, the ligaments that hold us together, in Delia's case, are a lot more elastic. All the lighting is done by LEDs inside each club or each poi. Um, there's a microchip inside each one with a very, very accurate sequencer that's keeping time to the millisecond. Um, at the beginning of the show, I press a button on a music cue, and after that, the equipment runs through the programme based on its own time clock inside. When I was in college, I had taken up juggling and clowning, and I enjoyed those. And I took up fire eating because it was as close as you could get to doing real magic. And for about 20 years, I ate fire. And uh, it wasn't until 1997 that I started looking into sword swallowing. I talked to another sword swallower, and he said, don't try it. It's extremely dangerous. That's why there's less than a dozen sword swallowers left in the world today. And that just encouraged me even more to learn sword swallowing. I practiced on my own uh, 10 to 12 times a day, every day for three years before I got my first sword down my throat in 2001. And I've been doing it ever since. Mind-blowing, I would say, yeah. I was, uh, it was kind of a stressful or impressing or like, very... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid really to have a nightmare tonight, but I hope we'll be all right. Yeah.